I grew up in New Orleans. I'm the youngest of four. I have an older sister and two older brothers. I grew up in a single parent home. We were Catholic and so it was very traditional. We were in church practically every Sunday. If we spent the night out, mom would find us wherever we were. It was required that we attend the church on Sunday morning. So now as an adult and definitely as a born again believer, I understand that the relationship was really empty in regards to salvation. I attended the Catholic Church mostly because it was tradition and it was something that I needed to do. But as I got older, I felt that there was something missing and there was something more. At that point in my life, I started searching. My brother actually came to know Christ in his early 20s and shared just a little bit about his faith with us and we thought, weird. Maybe about six years after that, my mother surrendered her life to Christ. Larry and I were newlyweds, and so she would call, and then she would start sharing scripture, and I would just lay the phone down. And every so often, I'd pick it up and go, yes, uh-huh, and put it back down. During that time, Larry and I were expecting our first child, and I miscarried at four months. So it was a very tragic time for us. But in that, became restless, started to just become, I was fearful, and just different things were happening in my life. One Sunday morning, I woke up and called a friend and just asked if she would come to church with me. Was not going to mom's church. My heart was really hard, and so I wouldn't give her the gratification of going to her church um, to surrender my life to Christ. <laughs> and so I went to this church, found it in the Yellow Pages, went up, made a public commitment to Christ. Larry came home, and I mentioned to him that I had prayed to receive Christ. And I told her, I said, well, I, I think that life as we know it's going to change, and I don't believe that our marriage will last. I'm a new believer. I've been Catholic all my life. I go to this non-denominational church. But the one thing that stood out to me, the pastor said, you know, for those of you who are married and your husband's not here or your spouse is not here, you can win that person over with your love and with your faith. And so that resonated with me. Lisa changed. I can see the change in her. She didn't hammer me over the head with the Christianity and her beliefs. It was more about her lifestyle, and I found it to be real. 1985, 86, Atlanta was literally a boom town. So we came for one week on vacation, found jobs and went back, resigned from our positions and moved to Atlanta. There was a local church here that was recommended to Lisa by her mother, and she began to attend that church. And it was downtown, it was, I thought it was in a seedy area. So I would, I would go down on Sunday nights, mostly out of protection for her. And I would go in and sit in the balcony all the way up at the top. And eventually it happened for me and came to know Christ. I was working in technology and was just kind of looking to get out of there. And Roy Ludwig, who was the chief operating officer at a Christian company, a financial-based company, gave me an opportunity to interview, and I got the job. And I didn't realize it at the time, but he was looking for opportunities to mentor, and that relationship lasted until he passed away in 1997. He was a good man, he was a wonderful man, I miss him today. But through that relationship, I got to know about apostles. We came from a really large church, and we couldn't find a Sunday school class that offered what we were looking for as a couple. And at this point, I'm really starving for relationships. So Larry said, well, hey, why don't we check out Church of the Apostle? And so our first Sunday there, the people were so genuinely warm and just very loving. So we talked about it and thought, okay, let's go back. Probably they're not gonna be that friendly next time. But they were. In the Sunday morning Bible study classes, we found the teaching to be phenomenal. And of course, it emulates what comes from the pulpit. We're in that Sunday morning class, and we're in two small groups. And we love both of the groups that we're involved with. Through those small groups, we found that people are caring, that people engage in opportunities to get more in depth and to get below the surface in people's lives, to understand where their needs are. It's like you're you know, a B12 shot. I mean, you just come home so energized. It's just so fulfilling to be able to share Christ's unconditional love. 
We thought it would be more of a transition being under a pastor for so many years. We are just totally affirmed in the fact that this is the place that the Lord has for us. Through God, all things are possible. And through prayer, all things are possible. So I'm just grateful for God for providing me with the opportunity to see the realization that, that God is real and that God does do miracles still.